Yeah, uh, another. Uh, he actually took a game off Zenyu in this bracket. Uh, this bracket uh, so yeah, he, uh, another, uh, another yeah, man. Yeah, D3, dude. Yeah, getting into this game one on Stadium. It's really common for his pick now. Yeah, Pokemon Stadium 2 is kind of a new classic stage as opposed to how we had Smashville for many, many years. Yeah. <laughs> this is Smashville has been overtaken by. Honestly, a fan favorite trade for us. Pokemon Stadium 2. This ladder, man. Falls out of the downer. That was so good, though. Yeah, that was pretty big for coming out for Diddy 2 because he had, literally had Razzle like, zero to 100 real quick, and then Razzle felt like the last instance able to get out of that downer. Yeah, now it's off on Razzle. Can he find this single hit that leads to an 80% combo to get this, you know, damage back off the Zenyu? It's kind of the, the respect that Razzle understands. Like, Zenyu's been playing the anti-air game, so it's kind of stopping Razzle from being able to float in and come back in the game. With that one opportunity, Zenyu lets Razzle slip by the hands, and Razzle takes center stage. And I like the fact that he kind of understands, like, hey, I don't want to go back there to throw Zenyu off stage, because I might lose my stuff just like that. Yeah, and already Zenyu coming out of this first time, almost on touch, Razzle is dropping his already. Okay, so far Razzle is content to play a little bit of a slow game. I mean, he is behind, but he starts off with that down tilt. Not much of a combo here, but 47% is what he gets for it. Razzle right now tries for the back on shield, gets shield, got double up and triple, quadruple four into the nair, goes for a back as well, already 80% onto Razzle. Oh, ready, storing off this second trunk, real strong from Zenyu. Down throw into the nair, Razzle looks for the side piece tonight, but doesn't find it. Great response from Zenyu, he's able to land back on stage. Nice, now Raul's looking to play a little bit of the anti-air game, catches Zenyu off guard with that up B, man, that stops the edge guard all at once. What a high recovery there, right through Raul's forward, he's gonna keep himself alive. Raul's are going low. Alrighty, I like it, doesn't even go for the back, but he really just sends Raul's into the center stage. But at that situation, I feel like Zenyu just should have tossed Raul's off the stage, because he did so good with the edge guard. Going out here, down to the light. Okay, Razzle trying to set up something there with the technical. He's not able to find an opportunity here. Then with the combo on the back throw, edge guard phase in his hands. Razzle threw a die opportunity here because he's yet to take a stock from Zenyu and Zenyu. Also into the up air, still connecting, and it's a kill combo. Okay. Yeah, man. It's, that's, that's definitely why I tell people, like, man, I understand why some people hate fighting Mario, man. He still does the same stuff. He doesn't smash more. This doesn't an ultimate. That jab's gonna force Razzle back again. Razzle not able to find a way to get the stock in there. Not gonna do it. Here we go with Zenyu. Kind of get combos right now. 65% onto Razo. No, fear. <laughs> oh, and you want to talk about the fear, man. That forward air. That's a three stock. Sending a fear straight into Razo. Yo, man. I, I just know how you feel, man. You just saw one of your IE boys get taken out like that. Yeah, that was, <laughs> I haven't got to see Zenyu play pretty much at all yet. He hasn't been, you know, coming out to these MSMs or hats or anything. He's been staying, you know. Yeah. Going to like WCW and things like that, but yeah. I haven't seen his play too much. Yeah, so it's kind of funny too because like Zenyu's kryptonite now is Nico versus back then it would be like somewhat, somewhat close to even, but you know Zenyu still has a couple victories now. But now looking at how Ultimate plays, I'm like Nico's definitely rose over Zenyu in terms of dominance in the 818, or as my good friend Errol likes to call it, the great 18. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the best region in SoCal. By it, there is some bias there when I say that, but. Nonetheless, dude, Zenyu immediately showing off what the 8 one has to offer in terms of he's talking Razo. Not, that's no easy feat. Oh, no, not at all. You know, Razo, one of the favorites to you know, place real well in the tournament. It would not surprise me. You know, they will make a comeback, but Razo right now looking like he's going to have to pull something out desperately. Oh, he's 62% from Zenyu. Yeah, man, he's pulling out tournaments, man, but he needs to pull out some victories because it's looking like a pretty big L he's getting in Zenyu. So relentless. I feel like I, under, I respect the gameplay that we're seeing from Zenyu because he's being relentless. He's not giving Razzle the time to start looking for setups, go for the floats. He's kind of having the anti air gameplay. He sees the cross up and responds with the back air. Each time Razzle has an option, Zenyu's there to cover it. It's kind of game plan versus game plan at this point. Yeah, and right now it looks like Razzle's been able to at least get some better hits in on Zenyu. Oh, using his back air, using his up trying to. Walls and you out, not letting him get the wrong combo. Mm -hmm. No. And he shows the back side and he pays the price, man. Never show your back. Never show the audience your back, dude. You want to stay facing the stage, and that's what you make him also cannot find an opportunity to get against Zenyu. Oh, but the Toad coming out, great counter there, gonna put Zenyu in the lead. Back goes with the fireball, good trade for him. Both of them keep him off stage. He tries to go out there and edge guard, but he's not gonna be able to gain Zenyu on the ledge here, though. I mean, he's got Zenyu in a high percentage. Razzle can work out this edge guard here, but Zenyu 
able to slip in. Has a 0% to his name. This guy's in at 133. Finds the opportunity. But he gets the grab. Puts on percent himself. You know, if he's like, if you're not going to do it, I'll do it for you, man. I got you covered. One of us is giving percent. All right, and here we go. Zenyu again finding his hit. 82% onto Razo. Okay, Razo finally a little bit of a breather yet again. Great kick right there from him. He's staying alive. Up here to the down and is going to be another stock taken. Oh, Razo says no more be stuck for you, my yeah, friend. Razo finally finding his first stock of the set. Yeah, it's pretty tough. He's kind of forced to play from behind. And that's kind of one of the things Peach can actually suck for sometimes. Even though being, you know, pretty top tier. Yeah, but, you know, when you aren't scared of Daisy's pressure, uh, when you're able to just combat her, you know, it's really a different game. You know, a lot of her damage comes from her pressuring you until she finds a hit. Yeah. But against a player like Zenyu, it really feels like she's played as you're seeing the cracks in your timing. Yeah, go ahead and say cracks in the timing, man. He missed the timing there for the attack. And literally Zenyu was going for the attack chase. Timing is everything, man. In that situation, Raza was at the wrong timing. Zenyu was on the attack chase. Dash dancing there. I like the fact that he doesn't do the mistake of the dash dance or something. We just dash dance in the neutral, don't do anything, and then get punished. Then you're out here making sure he's got Razo in the edge Wait for what though from Zenyu. Not letting Razo off his leg right now. He's forced to recover onto the leg. Right for the back of the no. That's going to be it. And it's the anti-air up smash, man. It's the classic. It's a little.